Hey everyone, I'm back with version 5 of my Warpath gaming bot. Uh, in this version I've done a few bug fixes um, as well as added some alliance tasks and actions uh, to the bot. Uh, the bug fixes are um, a few small bug fixes like for instance um, the home the ba home base button uh, has moved from the top button to the second button uh, and obviously when uh, you press home uh, in a lot of the bots uh, it, it didn't work so I've already fixed that and um, saved it to Dropbox um, in version 5 but the main focus of this video is to uh, show you what I did um, to help with Alliance tasks and actions now Alliance tasks and actions is uh, is actually quite important and the reason is is because when you um, when you do alliance tasks and actions um, with many of them you actually gain alliance points and when you gain alliance points uh, you can use them in the alliance store now obviously I've got a literally account uh, because it's only here to show you um, the capabilities of my bot but for instance I use in my main account I use uh, the alliance points to buy eight hour rush tokens quite a lot um, but it also has many other uses for buying universal coupons um, and what's actually also very good is the the war machine statues uh, so you can level up your offices um, so let me show you how this works um, so please excuse my burning base um, I came to it this morning and it had been um, burned by a few uh, people so if I start with the bot uh, as usual um, the bot will try and read the CSV file settings file um, if it doesn't have that it will obviously uh, ask you for the information or the bots that you want running and the bots that I want running is the new one that I've added, which is the Alliance Aid and Research. Um, so I'll continue on that. After pressing continue, the bot will move to the loop, uh, save the CSV file, and then it will run through, uh, run through the loop. Uh, in this instance, what will happen is the Aid Alliance function will run first. Um, and what that does is it looks for the handshake image. So it looks for the image in, in an area, obviously because what will happen is depending on um, the icons that are available in this area, uh, it could be in any different place. Uh, so it searches this area uh, for the image. In this case, it, will, it finds the image, it moves the mouse to the image, sends a click and waits. Uh, for a split second then it goes back to the loop uh, and runs another uh, alliance function so what that does is obviously it aids the uh, other alliance members and what is good about that is that when you're aiding your alliance you um, you're getting alliance points um, and you also obviously um, helping your alliance members grow what it looks for next is the alliance button at the bottom of the screen uh, looks for the orange token which means there's actions and tasks available uh, in the alliance window so it searches it uh, it finds that there is a orange token uh, then moves on to move the mouse button to the Alliance button, sends a mouse click and there we're in the Alliance uh, screen. Uh, what it looks for now is it looks for the orange token uh, at the top right hand side of the research button. Uh, if it finds the orange token in the research button, uh, it moves the mouse to the research button, presses, waits a split second. Uh, then it looks for the thumbs up um, icon. Obviously the Alliance leaders have identified that to be researched, uh, in this case it's the bureaucracy, 
uh, to be researched. And what's good about ensuring that you are um, researching what your alliance uh, leaders are asking you to research is that you get a, a two times multiply effect on the amount of alliance points um, you get. So in this case, the bot will move um, the mouse to the thumbs up icon. It will send a mouse click, which will bring up um, the contribution screen. It will move uh, the mouse to the contribution button and press on the contribution button. Um, so in this case, what I've done, asked the bot to do is only press on the contribution button once. Um, in the next loop of the bot, it will come back um, and and press on the contribution button again. Now, obviously, I could have asked the bot to just press on the contribution button 20 times, but every time it comes through to the contribution button, it would be pressing 20 times. So what I've done uh, for the bot is knowing that the bot reiterates the loop um, continuously. Um, I've just pressed on the button once um, each loop knowing that it's going to reiterate many times through. So after that, uh, it moves the mouse button to the close um, contributions window, it closes the window, waits a split second, then moves up to the research um, back button and moves out of the window. So the next thing it looks for is the gifts button. So if it finds the orange token above the gifts button, then we know we have some gifts available for us to, um, to collect. Um, so if it finds the image, which it does, it moves the mouse to the gifts button, sends a mouse click. Now there's two uh, gifts that are available here. One is the normal gifts and then the Patriot gifts. So uh, it will move immediately to the gifts button, uh, send a mouse click, um, and then move down to the claims or button uh, and select it. And then press OK after having selected it. Um, thereafter, it will move to the Patriots gift um, screen, press the button. Even though there are none available, it will press on where the collect button would be uh, and send a mouse click. Uh, so um, as with the research, it will only select the Patriot's gift or collect the Patriot's gift once. Uh, and then after coming back the second time through the loop and the third time through the loop, uh, it will select um, the, the Patriot's gift button again uh, and collect it until they're none available. Now the amount of overhead uh, and time used to, to collect the Patriot gift, even though they might not be available, is very small. So instead of doing something clever like looking to make sure that there is a gift available, I've just cycled the mouse button through the gifts um, to collect them. Uh, so then after that, the um, bot will move to the back button um, of the Alliance screen uh, and then go back to uh, loop through all the bots. So let me just run through it once more so you can uh, have a look how it will then um, select the research and continue on with the research. So in this case, what it's trying to do here on this bot is aid alliance it's looking for the handshake which it doesn't find so then moves on to the alliance function um, so if it finds a uh, the orange token uh, it will go through and select the alliance as it did before it will wait uh, now it's looking for the orange token above research it finds it presses on the research button looks for the thumbs up, presses on the thumbs up and moves to the contribution button and selects it. Uh, and as I said before, it will just reiterate through the loop over and over until, um, until there's 
nothing available to select. So that is my alliance uh, bot. Uh, there's a few things I could add. Often the leaders would uh, indicate which village to secure next. Uh, the bot does not um, look for that. Obviously the complexities of trying to make sure that you locate and deploy your base to a specific area that does not have anything in the way it's a bit more difficult and I might have a look at that at trying to do that at a later stage but I haven't included it for now so that is my alliance bot uh, I hope you enjoyed it uh, I hope you use it and thank you and goodbye <laughs>